Hey, you guys, it's your girl, the Empress 555, and I'm coming to you with another one, okay? You already know spirit is in the building. Oh, Lord. Who we got to talk about somebody's mother, okay? Um, somebody's mother. I'm hearing that. Oh, no. Let go. Oh my God. I feel like this mother. This mother has always felt like you have felt. Okay. <clears throat> it was always hard. I'm, oh my God. Please. I don't know why spirit want me to do emotional readings today. Like, this is hard, okay? Hmm, they said face it. <laughs> um, but your mother went through some of the same things that you went through. But they couldn't heal it. So they saw fit to keep putting you through the drama. Oh, my God. You know how we say that we want our children to be better than us and do better than us and this, that, and other than the third. <clears throat> Your mother never had that within her. She always felt like you felt, though. I'm not lying. Your mother... Always felt alone. Always felt like nobody understood them, you know. And she she went to the deep end, the rabbit hole. Because her mother felt the same way. I'm about to cry. Her mother felt the same way. And it was just a generational curse, okay? <clears throat> you couldn't understand it. But it was just a generational curse. And even your grandmother, her mother, had the same thing done to her. But it wasn't until you were born. You understand? Ooh, I got chills, God. It wasn't until you were born. Until you grew up. And it wasn't even... you. It was a young age. It wasn't adulthood. It wasn't teenagehood. But you grew up. And, um... You knew... The era of your family generational curse. You knew. Who, Lord? You knew you had to be the one. You did. This could be for a masculine, too, dealing with his father, is what I'm hearing. But I'm coming from a woman's perspective right now. And they're putting everything in a woman's perspective. So you know, energy transfers energy never dies energy you know is not ne neither masculine or feminine okay i just had to say that for a disclaimer but um it wasn't until you that's why you had the most trauma the most pain the most betrayal in your family in this lifetime that you will ever see within your family because it wasn't it wasn't until you you the one and you have broken generational curses and that's why you're not close to the women that are in your family right now if you're a male you're not very close to the males but you're close to the feminines okay and as I close my eyes I see you at your happiest moment in your life, okay? I see you seeing yourself, oh my God, for the first time in your life. Whew. It's hard. 
Because people don't want to see you there. But you did it and you made it. Your family, the women in particular, if you're a woman, the men in particular, if you're a man, these people see the, the, the tenacity that you had. These people see that you are ambitious. They see you for who you are now. But they still can't come correct. The Spirit is telling me to tell you this. Seek no validation within that. Seek validation within spirit. Seek validation within self. Because at the end of the day, they'll never understand. They love you. They want to understand, but they will never. Because they don't want to take accountability for being hurt. Okay? And hurting you in the process because hurt people hurt people, right? So now God wants to tell you that you didn't hurt for any reason. You did what you came to do. You shut down that generational curse. And now your kids will never be burdened from that. Spirit wants you to know that even if you can't fix a relationship with your parental, uh, with your parents or, or anybody that was your parental advisor at that time, if you cannot heal that, that is not on you. It's something that they will never change. And you have to release it. Thank you, God. You have to release it. Because some of these people, although they admire who you are now, some of your family, they don't, they don't really care. They don't really care to have your caliber of person around. It hurts too bad showing them who they are not. Okay? And it's not that you go around... To say, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this, and you're not. No. You don't. You don't. You really don't. And they haven't figured that out yet. But God knows your heart. God knows who you are. God is ordering every footstep that you take. God just wants you to be comfortable right now when knowing that people just really aren't. I don't care what title it is, okay? I love y'all. I love y'all. I'm going to tell y'all the truth. I don't care what title it is. Sometimes you got to snatch the rug from up under somebody's feet to understand who the fuck you are. Excuse me. But you do. And um, you've done that. you snatched the rug under plenty of people's feet. And now you reap the benefits because you're the only one standing in your truth. And your kids will never have to bear the cross that you did. Thank you, God. Thank you. I don't ever want mine to go through what I went through. Oh, thank you. Oh, Lord. Thank you. All day long, the Spirit has been heavy on my heart, y'all. I don't know why. But it's time. It's time for you to recognize that who you are is who you're supposed to be. And nobody can take that from you. I love you guys, okay? Regardless of who is accepting who you are, just know who you are and accept that for yourself. It's not up to you what they accept. But it is up to you how you, how you maneuver in your life. So your kids won't have to just accept anything. I love you, infinite blessings for you, infinite dreams coming true, just infinite possibilities on anything in your life. I declare and I decree right now, spirit, for the collective and I, anything that we want, anything that we shall um, receive is nothing but the blessing from you, God. We appreciate you and we love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. A million and one time. Infinity thanks. Because you have done the work for us, Spirit. You helped us. We appreciate you.
I love y'all. Until we meet again, stay strong.